So if you have an online business, then one of the things you need is a website. And this is simply because having a website is one of the ways you can position your business online. And even aside that, choosing the right platform is also another factor to consider because there are just so many platforms out there. We have WordPress, we have Wix, and we also now have Canva because now Canva has made it incredibly simple to be able to build a website. And all you might need is just a few design tips and tricks and um, a couple of clicks. And that alone would help you to be able to create a full website you can actually host so in today's video what i'm actually going to do is to teach you how to build a full website inside of canva make sure you do not go anywhere i will be back Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert and in today's video, what I'm going to be teaching you is, like I mentioned, how to build a website inside of Canva and if this is your first time watching me, I must say you are so welcome. One of the best things you can do this year is subscribing to this channel because every single thing you need to know about Canva has been explained on this channel. If you're an OG, I salute you, thank you so much for the continued support. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. So you can see this is the website I actually built, it's so easy and so simple and you know, just to get started let's come to my home okay and what we have to do is to click on create a design and what you can do here is to search for website okay so just search for website and you can see there are so many websites over here so i'll just click on websites and we should have a blank canvas like this they are just giving us a warning that creators cannot publish templates in this category so i'll just close it because uh yeah you know i'm a creator but i can't create templates at the moment when it comes to websites okay so we have you know a blank canvas over here and this is actually going to be um, our home page okay so let me just show you every single thing we need to do all right okay so the first thing i'm going to do is press t on my keyboard to add any text of my choice okay and i'll just um give my menu okay so i can <clears throat> so i can just say packages okay so let me just say packages okay and i will just duplicate this and um you know we can also see over here maybe portfolio okay portfolio and i'll also duplicate this again and i can just say shop okay so actually you can just say anything of your choice depending on what you're trying to build i'm just going to guide you on some of the things you can do but you can just add your creativity to it and just create anything of your choice all right all right okay so we'll say shop and now just arrange them interesting you know just something like this and select all of them okay and i will just position them here okay so i just have to make sure it's centered with the text i'll just use poppins because i just love how poppins looks okay so poppins and um yeah so you can see how it's looking i can reduce the size a little bit more all right all right okay and you can see the space in between you know all of these words are just too much so i will just want to you know just to keep them close a little bit okay all right so i think this is actually fine the next thing we're going to do is i'll press c on my keyboard for circle and i'll just make it so big like this and i would you know send it somewhere here all right then duplicate it okay so you can see we have another one over here and come to the color and um, choose add a new color and i'll just adjust the color and make it lighter okay then right click and send this to the back so this is how it's going to look and i'll just position it something like this okay okay nice one so now i'll press on that t on my keyboard and i'm going to add my you know my heading so i'll just use the poppins extra bold make it bigger and you can just say anything of your choice okay so in my case what i'm going to say is build a creative okay business with us all right nice one and i will just align it to the left and just hit it like this okay so this is how i want it to look this you know the line spacing is actually too much so we'll come to the spacing and reduce the line spacing a little bit i don't want the color to be black okay so i'll come to colors and um i'll just increase you know the color a little bit so we have 242424 which is going to be a dark gray sort of okay so you can see how it's actually looking so build a creative design business with us okay this is what i actually want to say all right all right then i'll just duplicate this okay and add you know some subtext over here so i'll choose this to poppins medium and i'll also reduce the size 
okay nice one then here we can just say anything over here so maybe i'll just say fast and easy okay so i'll just say fast and easy to get started with our template you can actually say anything of your choice okay so now i want us to add some few things to make our home page look interesting so what i'm going to do is i'll come to element in element let's go into line and shapes and i'll just search for there's this pale yeah this one so we search for it and i'll just move it to the top over here we choose the size to something like this and um, we can also maybe stretch it a little bit to something like this okay so this is what we are going to do come to the border okay and the border will choose you know the line and increase it a little bit to something like nine then we come to the color okay and choose you know none for it okay so you can see how it's looking right now then um with the border outline i think the weight is too much so we just reduce it a little bit and this is what we have at the moment i'll select it and the color i'll choose uh dark gray okay so if i'm to zoom in a little bit this is what we can see so i'll also duplicate this and i can just put canva creator over here okay and double click on this to tuck my text in then we position it somewhere here okay then tuck this one also in a little bit so you can see what we have at the moment this is actually looking very easy and simple so another thing i'll just do is i'll just add some few options over here so i just had to do some copy and paste okay just to speed up this whole process a little bit so select everything and make sure you are centering it okay so you can see how it's looking in terms of title is looking very beautiful and i love it so we would also want to add some images in this case you can add any image of your choice okay so what you can actually do is you can use your own image if you want or you can use any image maybe of a mock-up using mock-ups is actually um, the best okay so either an image of any human or yourself or any mock-up image okay so let's just do something quickly so i'll just come to upload and then upload i'll search for some mockups i already have okay so i'll just scroll down i'm looking for a phone mockup with um any of the templates i have created so maybe something like this i can just select it okay then i'll just um you know trim the size a little bit and i can just also rotate it slightly increase the size a little bit like this okay then i can duplicate it to something like this and maybe bring this one down and send this one up a little bit i think the sizes are just too big so i will just reduce the size a little bit right all right then i can just drag and drop you know the other mockups into what i have here okay so this is what we have at the moment and you can see with the home page we are actually done creating our home page the next thing we are going to do is to just see how we can add other pages to our website okay so let me just show you what you need to do so all you need to do is to click on add a page and that is it we've added a new page to our website but to make our website look interesting you know what we are actually going to do is we change the color of this page so i will choose maybe a gray i think the same gray should be fine okay so which is 242424 for me okay and we can see what we have at the moment okay so here what i'm going to do, simply do is i will duplicate this text and bring it down here okay and i'll set the color to yellow i'll just come back over here again and just duplicate this one as well and bring it here okay so we'd also have to make sure that everything is falling within um you know the margin so just in case you can't find your margin come to file come to view settings and show margins okay so this is what we have at the moment then i'll select um the pal yeah this is the pill sorry the pill not pal okay and i'll change the color to white and change the color of the text also to white okay so that we can see it over here okay so for here i can say anything of my choice i can just say um premium template okay premium template okay nice one and i would also drag this okay just to make sure it's fitting nicely inside and i would just see our template you know i'm just looking over here to pick the copy okay our templates are the best in features okay oh what am i doing features okay so maybe what i can do is i can just to play with contrast i can set this color maybe let me just choose um template first okay and set the color to white and um i can just leave it like this our template are the best in features then i would reduce you know the size of the text to maybe 42 should be fine because of the other things we actually want to add over here to so press out on the keyboard for a shape okay this rectangle shape and i'll just drag it to something like this 
duplicate it and also position this one here so you can see what we have at the moment i'll set the color of this to white okay now select the first shape come to um, the border style and the rounding i'll just set it to maybe five okay now i think five is just too small i will just maybe set it to 10 and do the same for the second shape so i'll set this one also to 10 okay just to make it look more than okay and um, let me just make sure everything is aligned beautifully all right all right okay so now that we've done this we are just going to add a few things into these um shapes okay so press l on your keyboard for line and um you can see how it's looking i would reduce the length of the line okay and with the thickness i think it's too much so i will reduce it to somewhere like maybe two or if two is even too thick we can just reduce it to one okay and we'll position it maybe somewhere here duplicate it bring it also here and you can change the color to the same gray so this is just also going to help us to stick to our brown colors okay all right nice one so what i want to add over here is i'll add um we just want to say a few things about the template so i'll just add our logo first so i'll use a sample logo from canva okay so i'll just search for logo and we should just get so many options of over here but in your case make sure you're using um you know your brand logo all right all right and i'll reduce the size and i'll just position it here okay so you can see how this is looking so select the two of them okay and just bring it down a little bit and i can also bring this down just to make sure they are aligned then i can just see anything of my choice so i'll change the color first of all to white and since there's going to be some sort of body text we'll change the you know um the font type to the regular poppins okay all right then what i would say here is our templates are the best in features okay so maybe i'll just leave this text over here okay duplicate this and bring this one also over here and change the color to the gray okay and since we want to add some buttons okay um would we'll actually have to pull this down a little bit and pull this one also down a little bit okay nice so let me duplicate this and add this one why so i can just say maybe 500 plus templates okay so and i'll come here and change sorry i rather want to change the color to this and um, yeah i think this is looking beautiful now let's see how we can add some buttons okay since we've gotten to the point where we need to start adding some buttons so let me show you what you need to do i will press r on my keyboard again okay and i will just stretch this one out and maybe let me zoom in and you know yeah let's see how to add some buttons so i'll reduce the size of this and since it's yellow on yellow let me just change the color of this to white okay position it here then with the rounding i would also set the rounding to 10. okay so once i set it to 10 this is how it's going to look i can reduce the size a little bit and um, what i can also do is i can duplicate this text okay and since it's white i can set the color of the text to yellow okay and <clears throat> and we can just say get template okay so i'm just using um, a sample text for now so maybe get template and reduce the size okay to something like this and then let me just drag it to something like here all right all right okay then we would want to add some icons so we can add an arrow okay so i'll just search for arrow over here okay and then there should be so many options over here but i want a very simple arrow okay yeah i think this is cool okay so this is the arrow i would actually love to have so i'll just take this off and um let me just reduce the size of this arrow position it down here maybe i have to reduce it more and let me just zoom in so that we can actually see what we are doing okay nice one then i will rotate it to something like this all right all right and position it here and um this is what we can actually see so let me just reduce it more to something like this if you can see how it's actually looking so we can just change the color also to maybe this gray at the moment okay and um yeah i think it's looking very cool okay so 
another option we can actually do in terms of uh, modifying or just to make our button look interesting is we can just select this okay come to the border add some border to it and um, we'll just reduce the border weight a little bit come to the main color okay and set it to transparency okay then with the border color we'll set it to white and set the text also to white okay and we can also set the arrow also to white so you can see what we have been able to create now let me just select everything we have over here okay duplicate it and you know, just bring it over here right then you can see everything we have over here is white and white on white is not the best so i'll just change the colors select this come to color change it to the same color over here choose the arrow come to color and set it to the same color also so you can see what we have over here so i can just change the text to maybe extra resources okay so that's what we have over here you can see now the text is too much so what i have to do is just drag you know just a little bit and this is what we have at the moment <clears throat> this i believe is actually very beautiful to see okay so another thing i also added was um one testimonial over here from someone who has actually tried uh template okay so what i'll actually do is to select this text and duplicate it position it here okay and i can just say testimonial okay so testimonial and um would we'll just adjust the size of this right and um first of all even before i add my text let me select everything and center it okay nice and i'll reduce the size of this my i'm actually losing <coughs> my voice <coughs> okay so i'll duplicate it position this over here come over here to you know the colors change the color okay and i'll reduce the text over here okay then i'll just um you know paste a sample testimonial over here right or right and um, i think the text is just too close so come to line spacing and i'll adjust the line spacing also a little bit then i'll duplicate it again and we'll just say bye um let's say benny morgan okay then select or and reduce the size a little bit so you can adjust the colors and i'll choose maybe a lighter gray and you can see how this is looking so yeah this is what we actually have to do concerning the testimony you can see how this is looking very easy and you know it's actually also very simple all right so let's create a third page and um we'll just add a few things over here then i'll just show you how you can link every single thing okay so with this i will change the color of this page to a lighter gray sort of okay and i want to create a seamless some sort of like a seamless um effect by using a shape so i'll press C on my keyboard for shape when i bring it here it would only show over here so i'll divide the shape into half duplicate it bring it down here and send it to the top and make sure you know i'm also just getting only half of it okay then let's use our arrow keys to position so you can see how everything is looking so let's say you're creating a website they're actually going to be you know the point where you would want to preview your website and see how it's going to look on any um device either laptop tablet or even phone you can actually preview your website so let's see how we can preview our website okay so all we need to do is to click on preview website and it should load you know and um, we should see how our website would look on a laptop so you can see how it's it will actually look okay so you can see that oh this is actually very beautiful i love how it's looking even though we are not done okay and to choose mobile you know we just select it and it will just do the whole resize for us and all that so you can see how this is looking at the moment okay you can see this is looking awkward at the moment but don't worry bro then we'll try to see how we can fix it okay so we we'll come here and um it's just a matter of you know duplicates because having to do everything from scratch again is just going to be a waste of time so just master how to duplicate okay control c control v or you can use control d to duplicate all right all right now what we can do is i'll just say bundled okay with um popular extensions okay and i would want this one i just want the color to be white i don't want um any yellow over here and i will just paste you know any 
um, dummy text of my choice just to speed up this whole process okay so now what i will just want to add over here is i will press R on my keyboard okay for um a square shape and i will just reduce the size of the square shape okay and i'll also position it somewhere maybe somewhere here okay come to the border style and with the rounding would we'll increase it to 10 okay the color we will change the color to white okay then we would add a few icons so come to element and i'll just search for maybe i okay so i'll choose this one and i would use the size and i think yeah let me just center it over here then we'll just duplicate and position it over here okay then we can just change the icons i can also say root all right all right okay so this is the one i use i'll just select it how come it's not selecting okay i'll just select it and reduce the size position it in here reduce the size more to have something like this then we'll duplicate it again to something like this okay then we can use maybe another one um which icon can we actually use okay so i think i'll use because i'll use this one okay and also reduce the size position it here and also you know reduce it more so this is what we have select everything and bring it to the top a little bit okay nice one so what i want us to do is i want us to add some text okay so i'll put this text over here and then um, there are actually some few texts i added which i want us to have okay so i'll just delete this delete it not delete <laughs> and position this here and i'll just center this here and also do the same for this okay then we'll add a line and uh, to do that press l on the keyboard position it here just in between come to the border style and reduce the size to maybe two to have a thin line or one should be fine okay this is very cool duplicate it and position it somewhere here wow i am loving this so this is what we have at the moment and you can see that's basically with the idea in terms of creating pages and adding all the things you want to add so before we get into the next page where i'm going to be showing you how to create um, a portfolio page sort of okay um, i want to recommend canva pro to you because canva pro is one of the things you will need in 2023 because canva is on the quest to come up with so many features that would help us to work effortlessly when we are using canva pro and you can see even building a website in canva is just mind blowing so one of the things i would like you to do is i want you to check in the description box below there's a link that should help you to try canva pro for free for 45 days you understand using canva pro for 45 days is just mind blowing and it's actually more than the regular 30 day link you would um see elsewhere this is actually 45 days and um, you can use canva pro for free so check the link out click on it and um yeah let's get back into the video all right all right so i would add one page okay so this is the last but one page all right so i'll change the color of this to um you know white and um i would maybe select this titles okay so select it and paste it over here with the text we'll change the colors to you know this and uh, when it comes to the outline over here we'll also change the color so you can see what we have over here and i can just say carefully designed templates okay okay then i'll select all and move it to the top a little bit because we want to add a few things over here so let me take this one out i'll come to my uploads okay and then i have you know some templates i've actually designed and this also brings me to this now i'm able to design and upload canva templates to the canva library which means that it's now easy and um yeah it's now easy to access my template and you can actually use them for free so there's also a link in the description box below that will lead you to uh, my canva page okay and you see all the templates i have i highly recommend look use them because that's the best way you can also help me to come up with more templates for you okay so use them uh, you can also recommend templates you want me to create and i would always create them for you okay yeah i just wanted to pass it out okay so let me scroll down okay so i have you know these few templates over here i will reduce the size and this can also be found in my assorted uh canva template which you would find the link in the description also you know actually 60 days hey did i say 60 days 60 templates yeah that's time which you can always use you know and it's lifetime access okay and these are the templates you find in there so yeah 
select all come to position and i'll just do tidy up okay then now that we have all of this i will just replace these images so um i will choose this fix it here choose this fix that here and maybe choose this and fix it here okay and it should replace soon all right all right so i'll duplicate this okay bring it down here and i'll just reduce the size okay so i can just say maybe travel template okay so let's just say travel template and um we can duplicate the text bring it down here okay and reduce the size a little bit okay, then maybe i can just say travel and uh, maybe destination okay this tea. so you can see what we have at the moment of right so it's just more of like recreating a sample portfolio page to duplicate this and um, position this here okay and make sure you are aligning them properly then duplicate duplicate and you can see this is one of the lovely things i love about canva so i can just maybe here i can say business okay template and here we can just maybe business comma and i can just say conference okay so conference and here we can just say event template okay and i can just come here and also say maybe event okay event and i can also say travel okay then also come here and say beauty template so beauty template okay then i'll come here and i'll just say maybe beauty and uh, let's say scan maybe okay so you can see what we have at the moment all right so we've created this page and the last page we want to create is you know for people to take action to buy okay so i would click on this come to the colors change it to that and since we've done all of that okay i'll just copy and paste to speed up the whole process so i'm sure you can now do this because it's just the same procedure okay so now that we've seen all of the things we have to see in terms of building a website in canva how can we embed the links into our buttons because you know to make our website responsive if anyone is to click on a button it should lead them to a certain page or maybe an external website or whatsoever we should be able to do that in canva okay so let me just show you how you can embed links to your buttons okay okay so let me scroll up these are the first buttons over here okay so the packages i will come to this icon over here which is saying link okay click on it scroll down and um, now the, the question is which page do you want to link it to so maybe i'll just say page three okay so it's now linked to page three and i'll say done portfolio click on this and um to the portfolio page is page four done the shop which i'll just say maybe the last page page five okay so i'll click on that done okay i'll come down over here so over here i would group them first and select this and unselect and group okay and with this let me just do that okay i would want to link it to maybe my stand store okay so i can just say stand.store okay slash african geeks okay and you know this is actually a very cool website you can use to sell things easily on instagram there's a link below you know that can help you to try it okay so just check it out and you should find it all right all right okay so i'll just press enter and you can see it's saying link added to extra resources um maybe let me just link this to my instagram okay so since it's grouped i'll come here and i'll add my instagram link to www.instagram okay.com slash african geeks okay oh and the geek is just two geeks okay and enter okay link added then coming down here i want people to be able to buy any template at all i want them to have so i'm just trying to you know let me pick the link quickly copy url okay now come to the link again you know because i copied and paste the link is already embedded okay so i'll click on done and yes that's how to embed links into your buttons now the most important question is how can you host your website or how can you publish your website live on the internet let me show you how you can do that in canva okay so come to publish website right and there are so many options over here okay so you can actually use a free domain 
okay from canva you can purchase you know a new domain actually through canva okay and you can use an existing domain so for someone like myself i already have a custom domain name which means that i can make a subdomain and actually enter it over here so if i click on use existing domain okay and select continue you know i can now enter my domain over here you understand but just in case you don't have any domain at the moment choose free domain for now and choose continue okay so you can see i have my african gist template dot my canva site okay um another thing we can do is we can also set a description over here so that when people search for your website on on google they will also see the description okay and you can set your website to be password protected and you can also hide your website from search engines okay so if i'm to select publish right now my website would actually be published online so anyone can enter the url i set over here and would actually find it we will try it out so let's see what we can do so i'll choose copy come into any okay so i have this over here let me just paste it over here select enter and let's see the magic so you can see our websites have been created inside of canva and we've been able to publish everything over here you see but the only thing here is with this circle over here which we would have to fix okay so this is what i can do let me just come here i can take this one out and rather use smaller circles okay just to be just to be on the safer side so i'll just change the color to yellow send it way behind you know set this one also to yellow and maybe paste it here and send it way behind then maybe i can add some small circles okay another one also over here okay okay then we'll just choose publish website and um, continue then publish okay so we should see the updates made all right so now that canva is preparing everything <sighs> i'm so tired anyway okay so now on the website okay it's been published so let's come back to my browser and let me just refresh and um you can see the updates have been made so this is how you can create a website inside of canva i hope you found this tutorial helpful i'll be creating more tutorials on how to create different different websites inside of canva and to make sure you do not miss that what i'll need you to do is to smash on the subscribe button and also you know leave a like on this video just to support this video the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i shall see you in my next video my job, that includes whipping and keeping the recipes. Uh, I cannot stop, I gotta get it till legends are next to me. Till legends are next to me, ayy. Please do not text to me. I'm trying to get it. Uh,